Hey guys, TSL here, back with a brand new video. In today's video, I'll be showing you guys how you can use the big num module for Roblox so that you can get away with humongous numbers in your game without Roblox capping them off. You're probably like, why can't I just use number values? It'll probably be way easier. That you would be right about, but number values will lose a lot of precision along the way. So it is the best option to use big num. Alright guys, so the first thing you're going to want to do is, if you don't already have a folder in replicated storage called modules, I recommend you having that for organization. And then in here you're just going to want a module script, and we're going to call this big num. Uh, big num. And now this is a big module, and I forgot where I originally found it from, so I just pasted it on a paste bin, and I'll send you guys the link. Here it is right here, I'll link this in the description. Um, all the credits are here as well, so don't worry about that. Alright, so back here, if we go ahead and paste our module here, you see we have almost a thousand lines, and that includes comments. So, Anyways, uh, we're not going to be worrying about this yet. So the first thing we're going to want to do is how about make a script and service script service, and we'll call this stats. Uh, in this video, I'll show you two things using a number value versus using the big num. So what we're going to do is make a local players equal players equal game colon get service players uh, local function player added and we'll take in a player. Here what we're going to want to do is we're going to want to make a local non big num and it's going to be equal to instance.new number value and we'll say non big num dot name is equal to uh, small num coins and we'll do non big num dot value is equal to let's just do something huge like that uh, anyways then we're going to copy this right and we will paste this here and we'll call this big num. Uh, we'll call this big num value so it doesn't interfere later. And this will have to be a string value. And we'll call this big num coins. And we'll have the same exact value here. Uh, and we also have to set the parent equal to stats. And we'll copy this, paste this here, and change this to big num value. Then up here, what we want to do is say local stats is equal to instance.new folder, and we'll do stats.name is equal to leader stats. And then all the way down here, we want to parent the stats to the player so that we don't get like any things with replication that will just suck. Anyways, here we'll say players player added colon connect on player added on player added uh, and we have to do that all right cool so now if we play the game what you should see happening is we get two values in our leader stats hopefully uh, we are not getting that interesting Uh, because we parented it to the players and not our player. Okay, that should fix that. And now what we're going to do is make a GUI that displays both of these so we can use our abbreviations and stuff like that. Uh, so if we go here and a text label, and this one will be for the non big num. And then we'll duplicate. Or actually, first we'll make the script for this. So say local script, and we'll do local players is equal to game colon get service players. Local player is equal to players dot local player. Uh, here we'll do local stats is equal to player colon wait for child leader stats. Uh, then we can do local none or local value, or we could just do local stat is equal to stats dot uh, I think we called it small num coins. Then here we can say stat dot changed 
colon connect and then we're also going to want to do a functions here have a local function update text and here we'll have our connection and we can just pass in our update text all right cool so here we will take in a new value and then down here actually we could do it here we can say update text with our stat dot value. All right, cool. All right, so we're gonna make our abbreviations now. So we'll have our local abbreviations is equal to this abbreviation list. Uh, then we're gonna need a function to format this. This will be the same function from my previous videos on how to uh, like display numbers with accurate abbreviations for both leader stats and GUIs. Uh, so if you want that, go ahead and check out that video. All right, so if we just paste this function here, uh, then we should be good. So here what we're going to want to do is say local, or yeah, we'll say local text is going to be equal to formatter or just format. And we want our new value and we'll do two decimals. And then we basically want to say script.parent.text is equal to text. And we can call this like formatted text. And yeah, that should be good actually. Um, yeah, let's try this out for this one. Alright, you see we get 100QA, so I guess we have to make the number bigger because we didn't reach the max cap. Uh, so let's go back here, just put that many, alright, let's just do a few more just to be safe and paste that there. One OC we got. All right, I'm gonna keep going until we hit, the, oh, okay, so our problem here is we used a number value, it's supposed to be an int value. All right, so now uh, let's just paste the same number and you should see we get 9.223 QI or 9.23, something like that, 9.22, so yeah, I was right. It's just we don't have the third decimal. But see, our number is actually way bigger than that, but since we have an int value, it looks smaller and as you saw before the number value will fix this but it will lose precision along the way so anyways now let's do this for our uh, big num we can make this one blue just so that we know or yellow that works too uh, and we can call this one big num and then in here we can just do big num coins and now you see we get our 10 OC because we were using string values. Now you're like, we didn't even use big num yet. And that you would be right about. But with the strings, you can't like do all the operations and stuff. That's where the big num comes into play. So let's see, let's check um, here. I'm gonna go back to our stats here. And I'm going to make this like 900. And you're going to see we're going to get 900.00. And I know a lot of you guys don't like that. All right, so you see that? We only want to have the decimals for the abbreviation when we have a number greater than 1,000. Now, with the normal string value, we can't just check that. Or maybe we can, but if it gets too high, because you're not only going to be checking this. Like, if you're using that those coins to buy stuff or something... And numbers can be way higher, and then, you know, the thing might happen. All right, so anyways, it's just better to use big num. So what we're going to want to do here is we're going to want to, first of all, get our local RS game colon get service replicated storage, our local modules, rs.modules, 
and then we can get our local big num is equal to modules dot big num. So then here what we're going to want to do is we're going to want to say uh, if big num or actually what we're going to have to do first we're going to have to convert our value into a big num number. So say local big num num is equal to our big num dot new of our new value. Now this will give us a well new value and we're also going to want to say a local big num and we'll say max or whatever big num second. We're going to just call it big num max because we're going to do big num dot new and it's going to be 999 because if it's less than this then we're going to want to display it normally. So we can actually call this like big num check num. I don't know, but <laughs> whatever. So then what we're going to want to do here is say if big num dot compare or yeah, big num dot compare. Let's just take a look here. If we do compare and we go to the function I want to show you guys, then you see here we have our compare. And up here in the comments, it tells you if it returns one, that means the first number is greater than the second number. If it returns two, then that means the first number is less than the second number. And if it returns zero, then, well, that means that they are equal. So basically, if we use this compare, we'd want to check if our first number, if we passed in, let's say, if we passed in here our big num num, and then our big num check num, we would want to say if that compared is equal to one, or is if it's equal to two, that means it's greater, or no, yeah, if it's equal to one, that means it's greater, and we want to display with the abbreviations, and otherwise, we just want the formatted or the script.parent.txt equal to the new value, right? But as big num has already handled some stuff like that for us, if we look for compare, as you may have saw before, it already gives us some functions like less than or equals to. Um, and then we also just have less than. And but we and we have equal to, but we don't actually have a we don't actually have a uh, less or greater than. So that's why we'd have to do it like that. Or if we'd used the less than, we could have just said if that is less than that. So we'd have to swap them around. I usually use this because it's more versatile. So anyways, if we check this out now, and our big num value is right now 900, so it just it should just have 900. Our right, new is not a valid member of module script. All right, so we'll, let's see what we did wrong here. Big num dot new. Oh, okay, so, well, this has to, we forgot to require the script, so we have to require our modules dot big num. And yeah, now everything should be working as expected. And as you see here, now it just says 900. And then if we go over here and add like, we don't want any letters, but add that much. Then you see we get 900 trillion. All right, guys, and that's like the basics of big num. And if you really want like to know more, some of the more advanced functions, just look through this and you could probably find what you're looking for. Uh, it has a lot of functions, at least it should since it has almost a thousand lines. But anyways, Big Num is really good and I definitely recommend you using it, especially for a game like Super Power Training Simulator. I personally myself am using it for the one that I am making uh, off camera. And then, yeah. Anyways guys, that is it for today's video. If you enjoyed and this helped you out, please remember to leave a like and subscribe to the channel. It really helps me out and motivates me to keep making content. Also turn on post notifications so you don't miss the next video. Other than that, see you in the next video. Bye.